What's up everyone? It's me CN Skaima and welcome to CN Toy Hunting Tour. The toys that you want to get. And today I'll be going to a mall and it's called the Glendale Mall. And this is going to be my first time hunting inside that mall. And I have not gone there since 9 years already. I went there in August 13 of 2010. And what I saw inside the mall, there's a Target and a Disney store. And also that I've been a long time that I have not gone to that mall. They put some new stores like a Barnes & Noble and a GameStop. But I heard that there's a toy store. But when the first time I went there, I didn't even find it. So maybe this time I will find it. But I don't know because it's been a long time that I have not gone there. So let's see if that toy store is still around. And I see something cool in Barnes & Noble. I'll pick it up like an SH figure or a Marvel Legends. But depends whatever I have in Barnes & Noble. Alright guys, so enough chatting. Let's start this hunt right now. Uh, my mistake guys. Because this is not another Barnes & Noble. It's the exact same one that I came last time with my brother. So I hope this time... They have something good, not like last time. All right, I found some SH free words. And here's the Harry Potter ones. He looks kind of small. The box is kind of big. Here's another one. Here's some stands. And here are more from, uh, from this side. The Super Saiyan Broly. That got Goku Super Saiyan God Goku. They got some of this. They look cool. Look what I found here. It looks pretty cool. Here's a dragon and a dinosaur. Okay, the rock guy looks cool. Okay, I just woke up from Barnes and Noble and it was a buzz. I didn't find anything good inside there. There was some cool SH free arts, but those figures are really expensive. Are really expensive around. $60 so I didn't pick out any up but still it was the bus all right guys so my next stop is this mall it's called Glendale mall all right guys I'm inside the mall and I know which I go first Target or Disney store or GameStop mm. all right I'm gonna go to Target first all right I'm inside Target and look what I found some DC motivers there's poison ivy Batman, Transformers, now here's the Marvel section, they have the Spider-Man, here's some Marvel Legends, we got this girl and think all this just pure was. Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel, and here's the Black Knight and Malekith, there's some here more in the top, Oh, they have her. I think I'm gonna pick her up. Because I've been wanting to get this figure since almost three years already. So I'm taking this one. Let me see what else they have here. Dazzler. And it's just pretty much it here. Here's the Power Ranger figures. The Gold Ranger. The Red Ranger. Mega Defender. Another Gold Ranger right there. Here's some Star Wars figures. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm, I'm gonna take this guy as well. When he costs 17 bucks. Okay, that's pretty much it here. All right, I just woke up from Target and I bought my Marvel Legend and my Black Series Star Wars figure DJ. All right, so 
But yeah, and I went to um, Hot Topic. I went inside, but I didn't record because they don't have anything, anything inside there. So I think I'm gonna go to um, the Disney store or GameStop. One of both. And I just found another store here. It's called Tokyo. So let's see what they have inside. Check it out. They had a bunch of figurines. And also SH figure arts. There's some Naruto figures right there. This is really cool. This is a lot. Awesome. They got this Kamen Rider and it costs 58. Sweet. They also have some Street Fighter Storm Collectibles figures. Here's Akuma and here's the backside. It's kind of heavy. Can I see Charlie, please? Yeah. Hey, thank you. And here's Charlie with her pink suit. And she comes with her hands and her extra heads. And here's the back side of the box. If you guys love Naruto like me, they have a Gara. This guy looks sick. Let's see. 59. No, 55. Here's the back side of the box. And they also have Pervy Sage, $65.99. And here's the back side of the box. Rest in peace, buddy. I just walked from the shop and they have very cool anime figures like Naruto. Uh, but it costs around $55. They're really expensive. And the lady, she was so nice to me. Alright, so this is their Instagram. So you guys can check it out. And you can go to any of these shops. There's a lot of these shops. Alright, so I'm gonna go to GameStop. And from there, I'll be heading home. So this is my final stop. GameStop. And let's see what they have here. They got some Star Wars figures. Here's Rey. Don't want this guy. They have a, they have a lot of this guy. They have this Doom figure, but it's kind of damaged. It has no tag price, so I think I'm gonna take this guy. They got some Marvel Legends. Here's the Power Rangers 2 pack. Here's this Loki. They have that guy. And this girl. Oh, I wanna get her. But I think I'm gonna wait for her. There's more here. They have this door. There's Wonder Woman. And some Power Ranger figures. And have a cheetah. She looks cool. They have this Overwatch figure. It's on Killerings. 1797. Hmm. Alright, let me see if I can take this one as well. Oh yeah, they have some Fortnite figures. They like so this guy looks cool. And here's more in the bottom. Holy oh, my phone losing focus. There's more here. And that's pretty much it here. Okay, I just woke up from GameStop and I just bought the Always Watch figure. I never played this game before, but the figures they look so awesome. Alright, so this is all for today. Oh, and the Disney store, they kinda took it out. So they so they did do some changes around here in this mall. Alright, so now I'm heading home already. I got you guys in my house. All right, guys, I'm back in my house and ending the hunt here. I just want to say that I had a great time on this hunt, on this trip. Still, that Barnes & Noble is kind of dead. They didn't have anything good inside there. So this was my last time going to that Barnes & Noble again. But I had a great time in the mall. And I see they put some new shops like that GameStop in that little Japanese 
store. And I love that Japanese store because they have a bunch of cool stuff like SH Figure Arts, Storm Collectibles, and Figma. But it kind of sucks they took down the Disney store because I tried to look all around the mall and I see that they took down the Disney store because it's been a long time that I had not gone to Glendale Mall again. So they took some stores out and they put some new ones. Okay, what I got from Target is this Marvel Legend figure. And I got another piece of this Bill of Figure, but I'm not gonna keep the Bill of Figure because the Toy Biz, they done a great job making that figure and way better than this one. And also got the Star Wars Black Series DJ. And the reason I wanted this guy because I really love the paint apps on his jacket and the accessories that he comes with. But I got these figures a little bit cheaper because the box were damaged. Like, when I got this guy, I did not saw it right here in the tub. It was a little bit dusty. And you can see the damage right here. And also this one. So I got these two a little bit cheaper. And, games, and GameStop, my first time ever, I got the Overwatch figure from Hasbro. And this guy looks pretty cool. I really love the paint apps on his shirt. And the box are nice. So I finally got an Overwatch figure from Hasbro. And here's the back side of the box. Mm-hmm. Looking cool. Okay, guys. So thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this hunt. If you did, leave a like. If you want to share this video, go ahead. Comment, but remember, do not leave any offensive comments or saying bad words. If you do that, your comment will be removed from this video. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my toy hunts around. And please follow me on my Facebook page, CM Figures. Follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Oh yeah, I had to make a quick announcement that this was my last video with my longer hair. Because I'm going to cut it. Already, maybe today or maybe tomorrow around the morning or the afternoon because my Captain America mask that I have right now, it doesn't really fit with all this hair that I have. So I had to cut it because I'm going as Captain America in Halloween. Okay, so take care guys. This is CN Skyima and he's out in line.